Hey guys, I have missed you so much. Welcome back. I hope you missed me because I missed you. It's been a while since I've read, so today we're going to be reading a book with no pictures. No, literally. It's called a, The Book with No Pictures. <laughs> hmm. By DJ Navoke. I think that's how you pronounce it. Yeah. And there's this little warning. Ooh, let's read it. This book looks serious, but it's actually completely ridiculous. If a kid is trying to make you read this book, the kid is playing a trick on you. You will end up saying silly things and making everybody laugh and laugh. Don't say I didn't warn you. Uh-oh, do you think we should read it? I think we should. Let's get started. The book with no pictures. This is a book with no pictures. It might seem like no fun to have someone read you a book with no pictures. It does kind of seem boring. It probably seems boring and serious. Yeah. Except, here's how books work. Everything the words say, the person reading the book has to say it. No matter what. And yes, I'm reading this off the pages. That's the deal. That's the rule. So that means even if the words say, Blork, wait, what? That doesn't even mean anything. Blork, wait a second. What? This isn't the kind of book I wanted to read. And I have to say every word the book says? Uh-oh. I'm a monkey who taught myself to read. Hey, I'm not a monkey. And now I am reading you this book with my monkey mouth in a monkey voice. That's not true. I'm not a monkey. I'm not. Do I look like a monkey? Yes, I am a monkey. Also, I'm a robot monkey. What? And my head is made of blueberry pizza. Wait a second. Is this whole book a trick? I Can I stop reading? Please? No? Uh-oh. And now it's time for me to sing you my favorite song. A song. Do I really have to sing a... Glug, glug, my face is a bug. I eat ants for breakfast right off the rug. What? <laughs> this is, this book is ridiculous. Can I stop reading it? No. There are more pages. I have to read the rest. You guys think this is a silly book? My only friend in the whole wide world is a hippo named Boo Boo Butt. Boo Boo Butt. And also, the kid I'm reading this book to is the best kid ever in the history of the entire world. Oh, really? And this kid is the smartest kid, too, because this kid chose the book even though it had no pictures. Because kids know that this book, this is the book that makes grown-ups have to say silly things. It really does. And makes silly sounds like, oh no, oh no, here it comes. Glurga waka ma krumpha do ay 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 Brog 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 oomph myth eem myth Blaggity blaggity glibbity gloppity gloppity glibbity beep boop eee Bad doggy face Oh my goodness Please don't ever make me read this book again It is so silly In fact it is completely and utterly preposterous. Next time, please, 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 please choose a book with pictures. Please, because this is just too ridiculous to read. The end. Bonk. I didn't want to say that. The end. Thank you guys for joining me in reading the book with no pictures. I have really had a great time. I hope you did. See you next time on Dairy Berry's Fun Reading Experience. Bye!